Good morning, everyone. It is about 5.45 in the morning and I'm getting this day sorted, sorry. ingredients here with the exception of the clove so I have fresh apples I have cinnamon um, but I do not have a clove so we're gonna have to make do without the clove and I also want to add some ginger because I absolutely love ginger I love I'm gonna add some ginger to the apple cider so the, the first thing we're going to do is cut up the apples so let's get those washed and cleaned and then cut up so I'm going to do eight apples. I think that was all nine. There's nine in here, so I'll just do eight apples. I don't even know if you guys heard that, but there are about nine apples here. So I'm going to use all nine, chop up all nine. So let's first get these washed. dry them off a little bit. I don't really need to, but when I clean, I dry. It's just a habit that I have. So that the apples stay fresh and they don't start to brown before we get them in the pot to boil. I think this is the five quart um, oven, Dutch oven, and this is my favorite. Like I say, I have quite a few of them, but this is my favorite. This is the Sheila Bridges uh, 12. This is their collaboration with um, Sheila Bridges, and it is just incredible. Look at this. Look at the artistry on there. That's her 12 print, and I just love this. Uh, I love 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 this dutch oven so this is what we'll be using i already washed it so i'm just rinsing it now and then cut the apples i forgot look i forgot to squeeze 
the lemon, which is why the apples are browning a bit. Forgot to do that. I do have a lemon squeezer, but I like squeezing the lemon most times because it makes your hands smell incredible. So I like the way that it makes my hands smell when I do it. Now, with my, we're gonna add some water. And, and again, this is my La Creuset set. Um, their collaboration with Sheila Bridges, who's an incredible African-American interior designer and artist. And I just love this twall line by Sheila Bridges. So this is my picture that matches my La Creuset uh, Dutch oven. And then I have an orange. The orange is also gonna go in here. Slice this up. So I have the apples, the water, and the orange in here. Next, I need to add cinnamon. And so I like some ground cinnamon in there, as well as some cinnamon sticks. I'm a little greedy with the cinnamon. I like a lot of cinnamon. And I just tuck these right in between. Just tuck those in there. And I might have put a little bit more um, apples than I should. My initial thought told me to uh, use less, didn't it? And so I do not have any clove, as I said already, but that's okay. Um, it'll taste just fine. I prefer it with clove but I also love ginger. And so I'm gonna add ginger in there for a bit of kick. And um, my apple cider vinegar is usually a big hit because people are like, what do you put in there? Ginger. There's a bit of ginger in there. And honey. And then we stir this all up. Get it in there. I just dip it. Already, it tastes good. It tastes good and hasn't even cooked yet. is now on the stove it is looking incredible I want you guys to just see this if you could smell this oh look at that it is incredible and Incre it smells amazing already I mean it smells amazing so we're going to let this simmer And I like it to simmer for hours. Slowly, slowly simmer. And there we have it. Um, this, should, this, can, this will be ready to drink in a couple of hours, but 
I like it to slowly simmer um, and I like it rich so there you have it there is my very easy very simple it took me less than half an hour to prepare fresh apple cider for the holidays this is an incredible Christmas drink if you're having a dinner party it's an incredible drink to welcome your guests with and it tastes amazing and it's actually a little different than what most people do because it has the ginger and the honey um, it does not have the clove that's the one thing that's missing so I would add the clove um, but other than that this is a game changer it is incredible